The families of 20 people killed in the 2018 upstate limo crash are now preparing for a possible trial. The judge in the case shocked the courtroom yesterday when he rejected a plea deal for the limo company operator. CBS 2's Tony Aiello with reaction to the unexpected twist in this tragedy. Elated. Um, we literally, when the judge said he wasn't going to accept it, I mean, we clapped. Kevin Cushing was in the upstate courtroom for Wednesday's shocking twist. Judge Peter Lynch, who recently took over the case, rejecting a plea deal for limo company operator Nauman Hussein. It offered probation, not prison. Lynch called the deal flawed and unacceptable, troubled by evidence that Hussein removed an out of service sticker from the limo before the accident. It's been hurtful, it's been frustrating, it's made us angry. Cushing told me the lack of jail time in the deal troubled all the families. The National Transportation Safety Board ruled Prestige Limo showed egregious disregard for safety, allowing a modified stretch limo in poor mechanical condition to take 17 young people to a 30th birthday party. The October 2018 high-speed crash killed Cushing's son Patrick and Patrick's girlfriend Amanda Halse. They were joyful together. I mean, there's no other way to put it. Lawyers for Hussein indicate the case will now go to trial, and they're prepared to highlight alleged failures by state agencies. The NTSB found New York had cause to shut prestige down, but failed to do so. Everybody in the world seems to be happy to point at the defendant and say, well, it's entirely his fault, when all the proof points in the exact opposite direction and says, you know what, other people are to blame for this. We know darn well that a criminal trial, uh, potentially starting in December, is going to be difficult for us mentally, physically. It's going to be taxing. Cushing told me the road to justice has been a long one for the families, but they're determined to see it through. Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. The judge did indicate he believes this is a case of manslaughter, not negligent homicide. The defense did reject his offer of one to four years in prison.